quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is. All right, all you beautiful people. How are we? What is going on? Welcome back to another video, guys. As you can see by the title, I'm feeling pretty fucking pumped right now. For various reasons, I find myself in Melbourne right now, again. One of those reasons was to finally come full circle with this whole journey I've been on on YouTube, which is playing American football, reacting to it, loving it, and wanting to play, okay? I need, you know, even if I played one game and then left to go back up to Alice Springs, I need to, 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 to bring this journey full circle. I need to play. And no, it's not as a kicker. And no, it's not as a receiver, which I made a stupid mistake last time I came down. I was too scared to say I want to be a running back. I was literally too anxious, too scared, too nervous to tell them that I wanted to be a running back. So I put my hand up for receiver. Went through a few receiver routes, actually got my finger jammed twice, um, and, and you know, the rest is history. I didn't play, uh, I didn't get to play that weekend, I was only down for two weeks at the time. So anyways, we, we're here literally like nearly a year later, we're back down here, it's pre-season, I just went down, it's Sunday today, I went down, we did a three hour training. First thing I did when I got there was I said, I want to be a running back. But you know what man, even this time, even with me telling myself the whole way to the ground, Tell them you want to be a running back, Jacob. Take, take nothing less. Tell them you want to be a running back. Go with it. You know, if you're shit, whatever, man, you're going to improve, okay? With, even with all of that prep talk that I gave myself, I got there and he asked me, okay, what position you want to play? First, first instance, I was like, oh, no, I don't want to say running back because I don't want to stuff up. But I said, I said running back. And then I was like, oh, no, only, no, uh, you know, only if you don't have too many. I mean, obviously there's going to be heaps of running backs. That's what I said. I said running back, but oh, obviously there's going to be heaps. How do I know there's going to be heaps, man? And how do I know I'm not going to be better than some of them? You know, you've got to have confidence in yourself. And that's something I am realizing, man. It's something I, especially going into a new sport, not knowing anybody, wanting to actually do well. I mean, I don't want to be a laughing stock. So, you know, you've got to have confidence in yourself. And, and I've got to say that after today, I do have a lot more confidence in myself. And I will be playing running back. I ain't going receiver, no fucking way. I'm going running back and that's it. So today, we had a great training. There's a guy, there's a guy down there called Whitey. Uh, I said, what's your name? He goes, people call me Whitey. And I was like, sweet. Um, Whitey, from what I'm led to believe, is a, a top running back in Australia. He's played for Australia. He took about six of us through, six of us running backs, through some drills. Um, we did some warm up drills, we did some, some, some handoffs, you know, running, having two lines, three down there, three down here, just running off, uh, running towards each other and giving a little handoff, getting used to, you know, getting used to having the, the leading elbow up as far as possible, you know, further, further up is probably the better because the last thing you want is that, is that ball or the quarterback's hand to hit your elbow. So yeah, practicing that, taking the handoff and then running up to the other guy and giving a little pop into his bread basket as they say. So that was the first thing. Then we did one called the gauntlet where we ran through holding the ball nice and tight and the other guys on the side are trying to either hit the ball out or try and rip it out. Um, after that we, we lined up, we did some uh, inside drives, we did some counters, we did some passes, we did some blocking, we set up uh, with a single back and we also set up with two running backs um, and to be honest man it was just great it was just great being in that position getting down right getting down okay behind the quarterback knowing that you're gonna get the handoff you know what I mean and we didn't have any offensive linemen we didn't have any defensive players it was just us just us running backs just practicing some handoffs running into the gaps um, I really quite like the the passing routes I, I quite like that we did a couple um, we did uh, an out route okay so the running back runs through he's going to cut out he's going to turn backwards look for that ball then we've got like a swing route where basically that first step that you take after the snap is either going to be a big left foot step and you, you want to actually go backwards 
so then you can go around so then when the quarterback comes out this way he's going to give you a nice like flat pass fuck what do we do like a texas like like a flag like slot receiver route kind of thing um all sorts man all sorts it's just it's 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 I, I, he asked me do you have any questions i said nah man i'm just taking it all in and that's exactly what i was doing man it's so good you know this training was a hell of a lot better than, you know, I got, I got so much more out of this training than I did out of the last one because of the fact that I wasn't going to take no for an answer. I was going to train as running back. And that's what I said to myself. I was like, man, I don't even care if I play in this team. I just want to train as a running back. I want to be around the other running backs. I want to be able to show what I can do. And, you know, a good thing is that I'm the biggest running back as far as size, height, weight, probably, except for this guy, Whitey. So Whitey's probably an inch taller than me. He's about 6'1", 6'2". He, uh, he'd, he'd weigh at least 225 pounds, I'd say. He's pretty thick. He's a thick guy. Um, he's got loads of highlights on YouTube. So you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a look at some of those. Uh, playing for Monash and also playing for Australia. And, you know, it was... It was... Fuck, it was just fantastic, mate. You know, this just being around the, the players and learning... Um, after all of our specific running back stuff, we all went over and, and came together as a team. There was, you know, less numbers than what they'd usually expect. So there was three rotations of receivers and running backs. Two of us went with one, two with the other, and two with the other. If they called a, a single back, then one went on. If they called a, a two running back play, then a receiver would come off and the second running back would go on. So I had only one uh, snap in that particular thing because I was just I was just watching to be honest I just wanted to watch where the running backs were setting up I wanted to see their blocking techniques I just wanted to watch I'm quite happy doing that it's my first day but I did get one route and it was a flat route and so I was lining up um, as the halfback to the left of my quarterback the fullback was behind the quarterback and when the snap went I went about three or four yards on a 45 degree angle up to the line of scrimmage or the effective line of scrimmage and then I turned with a big right foot step out to the left on a flat route and then I turned around and lo and behold the ball's coming and I caught it and I turned around and then I ran into someone it was a pretty shit catch I got off Whitey said to me he goes you rushed that didn't you I said yeah maybe I did you know it, it, great guys Whitey, mate, if you ever see this video, I want to say thank you. Thank you for bringing me into the team. Thank you for making me feel welcome from the start, man. Welcome. Completely welcome. Completely comfortable. And he gave me some, some, some awesome tips. He, he gave me some encouragement. You know, a little bit of encouragement after you make a catch or after you make a, 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 a run or, or something, after you make a turn. Anything. A little bit of encouragement is, goes a long way. You know what I mean? Especially for me. So, I don't want to talk too much more. It was three hours long. The next one's on Wednesday. Um, and, then set, and then Sunday again, then Wednesday, then Sunday, then Wednesday. And then the first game is on. So, the awesome thing is that the Warriors have two teams. They suit up with two teams, two complete teams every week. And that means that regardless of what happens, you know, I'm going to be able to get some snaps as a, as a running back, um, which, which means that I'll most probably play in the second team. But we'll see what happens, man. There's, there's two more weeks of preseason training. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm just happy, man. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to have done that. I'm happy to come out injury-free. One other thing, man, it, you know, I'm definitely going running back. I'm not going receiver now because I don't want to get my fingers jammed, okay? And it's inevitable. And if I was to get my finger jammed tonight, or yes, today, then I wouldn't be able to play. I wouldn't be able to train properly. I wouldn't be able to do anything. So I got through without any fingers being jammed, without any thumbs being jammed. It was just fantastic. It took me about two months to recover from my other one. Got my hand on the ball. And look, i got to say, i got to just make a quick reference back before I do go to a previous video that I, I, I shot, probably the last one you saw before this one, which was just down at the field doing my last little bit of training, getting the ball in my hand, running around some cones, 
running through the, the agility ladder, um, just getting that ball in my hand, just getting used to it, running a few Y routes. I went down by myself, I got what I needed out of it, which was a little bit more confidence, a slight bit more confidence, and I took that in, into my, my session today, and um, it went well. So I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna say anything, guys. I'm just gonna leave it there. My dream, my goal is to get some highlight footage to put on YouTube of Jacob McDonald playing running back, you know, in a proper game, okay? And if we can do that just once, I'll be happy. And if we do it more than once, well, I'll be even more happy. So guys, I wanna say thank you, man. Thank you for coming along for the ride. We're here in Melbourne and uh, well, I'll be heading back to Alice at some point. I just don't know exactly when. So with all that being said, guys, I want to wish you a fantastic day, wherever you are in the world. I'm pretty amped right now. I'm pretty up. You know, in a couple of hours, I would have calmed back down again. And I'll be able to go, go through my afternoon nicely with some editing. I'm going to start editing this top 100 series, guys. It's going to be a good one. Top 100 players of 2019. Be there or be square.